You don't think this will bring anyone together? I don't think this book will bring anyone together. No. Would it look good on a coffee table? I think it would look amazing on a coffee table. When I had the exhibit in Gastown, I had the panel up with the book title. People were across the street. They looked at the book title and did a 90 degree turn and walked towards me and said, what is that? Beautiful. Yeah, I think it's just interesting to look at. The book features the most surprising Trump tweets and quotes from the past 30 years and pairs them with pieces of spiritual wisdom from God, Buddha, Jesus, Allah, Hinduism, neuroscience, and other gurus and icons. The challenge for anyone reading this book is to figure out if it's pro-Trump or anti-Trump, because the answer is not entirely black and white, which is funny because the book itself is entirely black and white. Where's your daddy and your mommy, right? Do you want to go back to them or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Trump. My hope is that there's something in this book for everyone, of uh, every, every religion or a spiritual calling or even an atheist. And ideally, uh, this book will be for sale uh, all over the world and will be translated into uh, 57 languages, uh, will be uh, made a mandatory elementary school curriculum for uh, children on six continents. That's the ultimate goal. The story of the greatest mass delusion in American political history. That's what it is.